Welcome to Rise TV Podcast, man. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment, and also uh, share in. Go get the book, Faith of an Unwanted Child. It's on Barnes and Nobles and Amazon. But um, let's get into it. I made an episode on why Charleston White's wife is insecure, right? And I'm going to give you five episodes bringing down the reason why he is the way he is right so how do i know because number one right um i met him sat down with him and his wife um he met my wife you know out in fort worth you know we was gonna do some business with some kids and things like that you know what i mean um so again i know him personally him and Dewberry. Not to the point where, you know what I mean, I know their whole life story. But again, I know the reason why he act the way he act. Okay, let's get into it. See, it started off as a childhood. Me personally, see, I was raised in the streets and also in the system with no mom and no dad. Mom was pimped out. Dad was the biggest drug dealer in the game member out in Chicago. So me personally, I was born into it. So I'm being raised by drug dealers, gangsters, pimps, players. That's all I was raised by. by. So me personally, it was already in me. So then I go to the system, the white man system. Right, group homes, foster homes, and everything. And I can tell you these things and also prove these things because my life is documented. I don't know about these other guys that come on the internet and talk about their life story. My life is documented, you know what I mean? From uh, being involved with shooting the Towards the police officers, you know what I mean? Gang activities, selling drugs, being locked up, all that, you know what I mean? Everything is written down in my life. So, now, get into the group home. See, when you're in group homes, see, it's mandatory for you to sit down with that white man or that white woman as a counselor, right? A therapist. So they make you talk out, you know what I mean? Talk your problems out, you know, trying to figure out why you angry and things like that, you know? Uh, so I know all that. I went against all that. Documented. Never would I talk to them and tell them about my life story, right? So again, the behavior that you see him doing Right, it comes from your childhood. See, he was raised by his mom, the father was never a part of his life. So, by him being raised by a mother, then the mother, right, she's working with foster kids. So, now that she's working with foster kids, he don't get attention. So, what do he do? He act out. He be rebellious. So he going against the woman. The father is no longer around. So again. Now that the mother is spending time. With these kids. From the foster homes. Uh, I mean from the system. He's going to act out. Because the attention is not on him no more. Now. This is what you start to see as he get older. It's called being rebellious. That's all it is. So as he disrespect the mom, he did not mind you. He disrespecting his mother. If he don't have respect for the mother, what makes you think he's going to have any respect for any other woman? It's not going to happen. Right. So then now you raise in the suburb. Mom work at a great job for GM right so money wasn't never the issue uh being being under a roof one roof was never an issue all goes back on being rebellious towards the mother 
no discipline no discipline was whatsoever so now as you get older right as he get older he find what the simple minded the weak minded black woman before it was the Hispanic woman any female that have a weak mind that's the same thing what a pimp and a player do you're not running no game you're just getting females that clearly are simple minded right uh easy to control insecure and things like that so you promise them you, you promise these uh, these things to these females right giving them some type of hope because they father was never around again go back to the past right started as a childhood did things that he wasn't brought up to then you get in trouble with what friends right you you find some friends you know I me mean? clearly you know I me mean? uh that's from the uh the hood because why you want to be accepted you wasn't a game member right to the point where you know I me mean? um you was brought up into that you just use your white man education right to pimp what the simple minded guys because they don't know no better that's exactly what your fan base is simple minded weak minded black man or black woman they don't understand you know what i mean what a strong man or strong woman look like because probably one uh, either or wasn't probably in a life so it's easy for you to what control the simple minded people that's exactly what you're doing with your wife allegedly right so when i sat down with her at you know what i mean um at the at the restaurant you know what i mean me and my wife and that thing she didn't look happy at all she didn't look happy at all so now mind you go back to her she's insecure right because why started off at the childhood the father didn't show her no love at all or if he did it was probably something simple then you go to, then then now you go to her kids how do her kids treat her why you never see her talking about her kids why her kids don't speak on her again because when you are insecure that man is more accepted than your own kids your kid his kids that she is raising that's not hers is more important because why he's basically pimping her mind that's it why you think every time you go on live he goes on live everything that he says she's in agree she's in agree with him she's grinning with him why is that that's called control right and then now when she don't do exactly what he tell her to do he get loud like a female why because he's been raised by females he ain't nowhere in the world men have these men that's in his life they was fatherless so how can they teach him something that they don't have? That's why he goes to what? Pops and stop six, right? He chose the hood. Now, if you chose the hood and you wasn't raised in the hood, that should tell you it's easy for you to pimp weak minded poor low income black men and kids that's what you see in today's time the white man and the black man that have the education they go down at the poor level they go down with the poor. They can't they can't educate the people that's on their level. They're not gonna listen to them. They're not gonna listen.
not going to listen to him. So that's what you see right now with Charleston one. I'm Charleston White. I'm sorry. So not saying that some of the information that he give out ain't right or, you know what I mean, ain't a good message. But why is everybody that he come across is always doing something bad to him? Because karma is starting to catch up to him. You can't come on the internet and be disrespectful. You can't do none of that. You know what I mean? And then think that God is going to bless you. See, money, right, is the rule of all evil. See, if you was in the drug game, like I was, and you seen a lot of money, it don't excite you. Because you know what it comes, what comes behind it as a black man. Nothing good comes having a whole lot of money being a black man or a black woman. Because why? We don't want to see each other succeed. We don't want to build with each other. So if I got it and you don't have it, you're going to get mad. And it started off from the Willie Lynch letter. And that's what you see. With him, he have the white man education. His mom put him in good schools. He just chose to make bad decisions. He just chose to be, you know, I mean, chose to fit in. Why? Because he was insecure. He was insecure. Why you think he lost his eye? Being disobedient. Mom told him told him to do something. Uh, told him not to do something. He did it anyway. And what was the consequences? So then now you use your education to what? To what? You use that to the poor, simple black man to build you back up because they don't know. They're not education. They're not educated. They only know one thing. And that's dr or that's gain activity. That's gain activity because they was raised in it. Same thing go for me. I work with kids. I see these things. I've been around it my whole life. I can talk about marriage. I've been married for 17 years. I got two teenagers, 15 and 16. I've been working with kids for 20 plus, 20 plus years. I know. Trust me. I ain't got nothing against them, but I'm just breaking down the behavior. That's what you see right now. You see the behavior because it started off in the past.